Welcome to the channel guys. This is Osiris and I'm that guy who's going to talk about Blue Nile. Blue Nile is the leader of Diamond Online Sales. They were the originator that did this type of format. They're the ones that inspired all the hundreds of companies you see today trying to sell diamonds to direct consumers, okay? Guys, you save money, bottom line. You save money this way, okay? I was uh, in the diamond trade for many years. I'm a GIA trained diamond expert. Online diamond sales are growing immensely, okay? It's really, really squeezing out the retail stores right now. And what's going on is you have companies from the top that are skipping five different layers of the middlemen and they're going right to the consumer, okay? It's saving you guys a lot of money. Typically, when by the time it gets down to the fourth, fifth person, down to a retail store, it's marked up anywhere from 20, 25, 30%, okay? If you go to a name brand place, it could be well over 60%. So this is the ideal way to save. And what I love about it is, you have so much selection, okay? Let's say you go to a retail store. That retail store might only have four stones in your price point. And, it, and maybe the color is off in one of them, but the clarity was perfect. Maybe one's an excellent cut and the other one's a very good cut. But the one that was an excellent has a higher color than you wanted. So now the price point has exploded. So what I love about online is you could filter things and that's what this video is all about okay i'm gonna help you understand the blue nile website i'm assuming you you stumbled upon me because you searched for blue nile i'm here to help you navigate their website to teach you how to use their sliders which is right over here and and find the right stone at a really cheap price point not cheap quality but a cheap price point we're about to get started if you click on the description box below, you will see a link to my website where I'm gonna write an article just for the Blue Nile website. Go a little bit deeper than this video is gonna give. I'm gonna give you quick tips and tricks here and go a little bit deeper on the article, okay? And hopefully I can help you guys find the perfect diamond for your significant other at a price point you are not expecting. So let's get into it. Don't forget to click the like button and the subscribe, okay? So here is the home page. And the first thing I go to is where it says diamonds, shop by diamond. We're going to talk about rounds today. I will have more information on my website. If you want to go to princess, pear, oval, that information will be there. But uh, let's start off on round because it is popular. So this is the main site and what it looks like. I tend to leave the price point alone. Okay. And it makes sense to right away go, if your price point's 4,000 for a diamond, four to $4,500, instead of critically moving it there, where I put 4,000 to, to 4,500, instead of moving that slider, what you're gonna do is you're gonna leave it blank, why? Maybe you find a beautiful diamond that's 3,800. Maybe you find a diamond that's 25% more carat, but it's $300 over your budget. That I think is worth taking a look at because it's 25% more carat weight. That's a very big impression for $300 more. So I tend to leave that alone. The next is the carat. Always start off in the carat goal. Let's say one carat is your carat goal. I move the slider over. Here we go, we're at one carat. Now, cut. I go straight to ideal, okay? Why do I do this? Cut is king. Cut is the king, it's the bling bling, okay? That's what makes it shine and sparkle. You do not want a beautiful white diamond that's flawless and a bad cut because it's not gonna sparkle so what's the point okay so you want the cut to be ideal now oh and another thing about cut if the cuts excellent you might have a lower color and it's gonna actually compensate for that lower color it's gonna look so beautiful that you won't even see yellow you're just gonna see lights and dazzle right so that's why the cuts very important when it comes to color I like going to eye that's a starting price point okay we could make that adjustment, but let's find out where it falls into your budget. When I go to clarity, I go SI1. And again, notice I'm not touching the top slider. Why am I doing this? Because maybe there's a VS2 that is perfect and it's $200 more and you, you say to yourself, this is amazing, I'm gonna spend $200 more for this. If I were to just do this, I would not see if there's any other deals out there. So I leave the top end alone. And I always move the bottom end for this, okay? Now, here's where the biggest trick is, the more filters tab. Don't be nervous about touching that. 
Let's leave the polish and symmetry alone. I'll explain later in the website why. Fluorescence, we're gonna scratch the surface here. I have another article fully just on fluorescence, but let's go ahead and leave it medium to faint to none. Depth percentage, this is super important, guys. Super important. I'm gonna leave it maximum 62%. Now this is not a universal rule for every diamond shape. Every diamond shape is different, okay? If you have a different diamond shape, please email me. I'll help you find the right stone. This is very important. Or in the link below on the Blue Nile site, I'm gonna expand on the different diamond shapes there. So on the table, I'm gonna go to 58% max. Now it's odd for me to say this. If a diamond says excellent cut, you think it's an excellent cut it's universal it's not every excellent cut is built a little bit differently not every excellent cut is built the same way now when i narrow down this field it helps literally narrow down that window of excellent cuts maybe we're kicking out 40 percent of them now that didn't fall within this parameter now length to width leave it alone again a fancy shape like an emerald or pear or princess cut we would go deeper and mess with the length to width ratio because it's round we're not going to touch it Okay, now let's filter below. What I love about this view right here is you see it, you see it far away, which is helpful because if you see a glaring issue from this distance, you don't want to touch it. Okay, now I gotta say, at 43.27, I like this price point. Let's open this up. So, again, this is the SI1 clarity, this is a bargain clarity. Not because the quality is low, okay? It's because it's a little more affordable. What, why is it more affordable? You see this little gray scratch right here, a little gray crystal? That is the reason why it's cheaper. Now, you might say, I hate seeing that. Well, you're seeing it 20 times magnified. Your eyes cannot see this, okay? You're never going to see this with your human eye. So I understand that maybe your girl wants VS quality only every stone's different this happens to be gray and a little bit off center but there's better finds let's find that better find see right here from far away i could see a little dot right here in the center so from far away i want to avoid that let's check out this stone right here actually right here 4471 all right now this is a very nice si1 could you see the the problem it's right here in the corner what I love about this is we could literally put a prong right on top of that, right on, right on top of that. And you have a perfect diamond. Now you say, Osiris, my girl wants VVS only. Okay, let's do it. Let's go VVS only. You go back to clarity, you go VS2. So we jumped up about about $600 on average on the cheapest end. Yes, but I don't like the stone. So let's go ahead and try this one here. This is VS quality. It's gonna be very hard to see anything at all. And really, I, I barely see anything. So again, if this is within your price point, go for it. Let's go ahead and add this to a ring. Now, understanding the ring guide. Now, this is very subjective. Who's your significant other? What's their style? Do they like three carat diamonds? No, God! No, God, please, no! No! Well, you couldn't afford a three carat. You bought a one carat. How could you make this look better? Let's look at the halos, okay? If she loves big, I would say go for a double halo. Okay, you're paying a little bit more money, but you're giving a much, much bigger presentation. Okay, if you scroll down, sometimes you get to see, see something like this. You get to see someone's personal picture. That's gorgeous. And that's, it looks here, it reads as a 1.10 carat. Oh, my dogs are barking. Now, again, if she likes that big look, that double halo is going to be a knockout. Now, Let's say your girl does not like the big look. Let's say she likes the dainty, cute look. To you, sweet heavenly God, yes! She's a keeper. We go ring style. You're gonna go down to the solitaire. You're gonna press that. 
unclick Halo, and now all you're gonna see is solitaires, okay? Classic, classic ring design. Classic ring design. Now, something about the gold, the metal. I pick white gold, okay? I, I don't see the, I don't think it's worth going platinum, personally. I think that uh, it's double the price, and the biggest difference is they're both gonna scratch the same, and the big difference is in 10 years, the platinum will look better. It's a low maintenance metal. Uh, gold needs white erodium to be dipped in and polished to give it a white glossy look. That's what gives gold the shine. Without it, it does not shine. So what happens is over the years go by, it's going to lose its luster. What do you have to do? And this is this is something it doesn't bother most people because they often go back to get it repolished, redipped. But uh, every five years, you essentially need to repolish and redip your gold to give it a really nice look. The white gold, you have to bring it in occasionally to any jeweler and say, I want it to be cleaned. Um, and that's it. That's the difference between white gold and platinum. Is it worth double the price? I don't think so. Now, that all depends on your budget. So once I add it, click on this. Oh, let me teach you a little thing about halos. Let's go back to the halos. So let's click on, let's click on this one again. If you want to learn more about the, the ring, you scroll down and right here where it says more, you click. This is very important. Number of diamonds, 68. Total carat weight, 0.57. Here's a tip. When you go to a store, they're going to say, look at this gorgeous 1.7 carat total weight diamond. It's amazing. What a good price. Look at this price. They're selling it as if it's the center stone is 1.7. It's not. The center stone is one carat. As you lie to me, sweetheart. The ring is 0.57. Together, it's a carat and a half, 0.57, okay? When they say it, oh, look at our diamond on sale. So it's a two, it's a two carat total weight. They're gonna throw that total weight. They're gonna lower their voice real quick. Two carat total weight. And they're trying to sell you. It's a lie. It's not two carat center stone. It's a two carat total weight ring. Big difference. So once I add it, I select the setting, select the ring, add to basket. Now, now here's the total. The beauty about buying online, I'm about to tell you, there's no tax. It's slowly catching on. Different states are adding taxes for online purchases slowly. But right now, depending your state, you might be able to avoid taxes on your online purchase. At a $7,000 ring, that's about $500 in saved money just on taxes alone. So that's a huge plus on buying online. So I'm gonna put here a link up, up above and it's gonna be a Blue Nile unboxing video I did. I bought that diamond with my own money. They came in, I opened it, I, I recorded it, showed my clients what it's like to buy a diamond from there, the experience, the, the branding and the packaging. It's very beautiful. I was very impressed. And I wanted you guys to see that to get a little more comfortable with buying online. And the most important thing, when I returned it, it was with a click of a button. I didn't talk to anybody. They didn't ask me questions. I simply returned it. No questions asked. They honored it. They paid for shipping. And what I'm trying to say is it was a positive experience. But, you know, I understand people buy something and maybe they don't like it. They change their mind. Well, Rest assured that you have a 100% money back guarantee. So that's always a big thing. Any company I push or I try to show a stone for my clients online, I make sure we have that money back guarantee. Very important. So guys, I hope this video helped. My email is below. If you guys have any questions, concerns, write a comment. Email me if you found the diamond on blue now you want me to evaluate it for you. I will take a look and I'll even give you some different options that I see. Click below. There will be a link for my website. I will have an article with extra tips for Blue Now shopping. Please take a look. I guarantee you I'll help you save money. Have a great day. See you guys soon.